look down the pipe here. See that? Hey guys, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on things that have been shown so many other times. There's been video upon video upon video of the Benjamin Marauder on YouTube. So all I'm going to do is a brief intro here, uh, highlighting a couple things that I think are considerably different between the 177, the 22, and the 25. I did own uh, Benjamin Marauder 22 caliber. The most notable difference between the Benjamin Marauder 25 cal and the 22 and 17 cals is that the barrel on the 25 is not made by Crossman. It's made by Green Mountain. They're a barrel making company from the United States and they're known for making pretty good stuff. That barrel of course is underneath the full shroud that comes on all Marauder models. And the shroud can be removed by unscrewing it, simply sliding it out. There's baffles in here as well. The baffles can be removed by unscrewing the cap. Just like the 22 Marauder, there are four baffles that are housed inside the shroud, which is simply a uh, hollow aluminum tube. And these baffles butt up against that cap there on the end of the barrel. The fill pressure is the same as the 22 and the 17. Safety and trigger, that all feels the same. First stage, second stage. The only notable other difference is the bolt probe. Take a look at the probe on this thing. You see that? It's not a needly looking probe. The bolt probe on the 25 caliber is much broader. This bolt probe does a much better job of distributing all force more evenly behind the pellet when it pushes it into the chamber. And pay special attention to the way you took it off. If it's like the 22 caliber, the threads on one end of this tube are different than the other end of this tube. So it only really goes on properly one way. I think if you put it on the, the wrong way, you're going to see a gap down here. If it's on properly, it's going to be butted perfectly up against the breech block here. The baffles go back in. And there is this o-ring that goes fits in there on the fourth baffle to add some tension when you screw this back in. Not a lot, just enough to keep all the baffles uh, secured. Finally, the most notable thing, the difference between this and my 22, this rifle does a lot more recoil. Well, it, it should recoil more. It's got 50% more energy. But that's about it. It's a little bit louder, but still uh, quiet enough for me to use in a backyard smacking squirrels, which I actually have done, and that video will come next. And those are the main notable differences. Green Mountain Barrel, more recoil, bigger caliber, and the bolt probe is wider for pushing in the bigger pellets. Okay, I'll keep this review moving. Uh, the crony test next, then we'll go out to the range and we'll follow it up with a little bit of hunting at the end. Uh, nothing through the scope cam, but I did want to get an idea at how hard this gun can hit prey. Usually I try to keep hunting and the gun review separate, but this gun absolutely is a hunting rifle. Uh, it uses a lot of air, it slings a lot of lead, and you're not going to be buying this if you just want to do some target shooting at the range. This gun absolutely, in its blood, is a hunting rifle. It's fall. Okay, let's do the crony stuff. Okay, crony set up here. Marauder is charged to 3,000 PSI. This is all factory settings on the gun. I haven't changed anything. I'm just going to determine the best fill pressure for the gun. As mentioned, this is a 25 cal. These pellets are big. I want to show you these. Just look at how much lead you're slinging with these 25 cals. I think that's an 8 grain pellet. Premier hollow point on the far left. A 14.3 in the middle. 22 cal. And on the right is that Benjamin 25 cal pellet. When we get down here, we're going to head out to the range. And there at the range, we'll test accuracy at 25 and 50 yards. 100 if it's available. I doubt it is. There's probably still some straggling deer hunters who don't have their rifles set in just yet. 
And you guys all know how to load these Benjamin magazines by now. It's been done a thousand times on YouTube. Twist that around, lock it in place, drop the first one in, stop it with your finger underneath there. Then once that's, uh, once you move the plastic back off there, there's spring tension on that, so now it'll hold it. And then you just drop them in one by one. That's it. You're all set to go. Okay, it looks like this gun can give about 16 good consistent shots from 2800 down to 2000 PSI. So, out to the range we go. Fill it up to 2800, shoot it down to 2000, and see what kind of accuracy it can give. Alright guys, at the 25 yard range with the Marauder 25 cal here, I put the Mamba scope from the Daystate gun, the Daystate uh, Mark IV Panther that I was using. Crossman did send a center point scope. Now the reason I didn't put the center point scope on is because although it was a good scope certainly for hunting, I didn't feel like you could squeeze every inch of accuracy out of the gun using that scope. It certainly had enough magnification but it wasn't adjustable objective and you really really need adjustable objective to be able to lock it down at the exact range you're shooting at. Otherwise, you know, that reticle is going to float a little bit if it's set at 100 yard parallax. So, I opted for this scope instead. It ultimately is going to reflect better on this gun. And we'll be trying two pellets out today. The Benjamin 25 cals and the JSB Exact Kings. From what I've read on the forums, these shoot darn good. And in some cases, these edge them out by just a little bit. So I opted to buy these Kings. We'll shoot them both at 25 yards. I'll do two groups of five for each one. And then we'll go over to the 50 yards and I'll shoot whichever one is best. So here's our target. Um, looks like it's pretty much like 3 eighths inch across the board here. Uh, the Benjamins are here, JSBs are here. Nothing really shines as being the brightest. So I think we got to shoot them both at 50 yards. Like all my reviews, I want to make it clear that I just am shooting this gun out of the box. I know a lot of guys would clean these things right when they get them, and I'm one of them, but I started my review process way back when without cleaning them, just shooting guns out of the box that's what I'm sticking with. And that's what I've done here. Okay guys, here we are at 50 yards. This will be our target. I'll shoot two groups of Benjamins here, two groups of JSBs here, and whichever one we think is the best, I'll put one more group on the center target. I hope by now you can trust that I'm a good shot because I can't get the scope cam to agree with this scope. The reticle on this Mamba scope is so fine that the camera will not focus on it. So I'll take that camera and I'll set it up downrange and you can see the groups form for yourself.
Okay, it looks like the JSBs just edged out the Benjamins, so we'll shoot this last target here, the JSBs. All right, guys, let's take a minute to talk turkey about this gun. Full disclosure, I once owned a 22 caliber Marauder, and that gun was incredibly pellet fussy. Um, after trying 20 pellets or more, the Beeman Kodiak was all it would shoot. That's it. I even sold it after I got it tuned up by a professional tuner because I was just so frustrated with trying to get it to work. When I did sell it, it worked fantastic, but I had already been soured on the gun just from trying to get it to work so much that I just I didn't want it anymore. This gun shot both pellets that I put through it remarkably well. As I mentioned before, I did not clean this barrel. I didn't do anything to it. I took it out of the box and started shooting it. I just think it's really remarkable what Crossman has done here. They've absolutely put together a very, very awesome hunting rifle. And to demonstrate, um, here's this Marauder's first kill. Uh, it's a feral pigeon and uh, the damage done to this bird is just devastating. And in this wind today, I had to hold about 10 inches to the right of him. I'm behind this barn right here. The wind is actually from my back at about 15 knots. So I had to hold about 10, 12 inches to the right of him. It hit him right where I was aiming, right in the neck where I always aim for pigeons. And he just helicoptered down. The wind blew him. That's what made him helicopter. So the pigeon circled around, came back, and I just whacked another one. Center mass, he went down like a ton of bricks too. A kitty grabbed him when he hit the ground. So I'll give this guy to one of the cats. It'll be his Thanksgiving feast. Bottom line, what you're looking at with the 25 cal Marauder is 16 very consistent, very accurate shots. What an exceptional gun in this price point. You know, I hate to say that this is a budget gun or something like that. Um, it's a modest price, pre-charged pneumatic. But the truth of the matter is, um, to me, the proof's in the pudding. This gun shot great out of box. It was putting pelvis on a dime at, ooh, there's a pigeon. Another one's coming in. All right. <laughs> All right, I can save this chatter for later. And we'll go put the scope cam on and see if we can't pick one off the top of the grain bin. And that'll wrap up this review, guys. I appreciate you watching it. It was one of my most fun reviews I've done, in all honesty. Um, just because of the surprise factor. I really wasn't expecting this gun to do as well as it has. That isn't to say I was expecting it to fail. It's only saying that I'm just really pleasantly surprised at how well it did, especially when you consider the price point of it. As always, guys, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next review.